Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are starting off the or almost into the weekend here, but today we do have some more showers. We're not quite to the end of this rainy stretch that we've been in for the last few days. The sunrise this morning is pretty nice. There's a little bit of a cloud cover over north central Montana, but it is dry at the moment. It's 42 degrees right now in the electric city and a similar situation in Helena. Really nice sunrise this morning. There is that cloud cover, but the sun is coming up, so it is getting a little lighter out there and it's 44 degrees so it is a couple of degrees warmer than the last few days we've been in the 30s for the last few days this morning in the 40s solidly in the 40s for most folks 43 degrees in Lewistown 47 in Haver 38 in Cutbank so it is a little chillier in Cutbank this morning still across the board though looking a little bit warmer than the last few days now we're waking up to different conditions depending on where you are in the state there is a little bit of moisture in eastern Montana but it's nothing like what the Midwest is getting this morning. There have been some severe thunderstorm warnings, not at the moment necessarily, but earlier this morning there were some severe thunderstorms around the Kansas City area. And if you haven't been following the weather in the Midwest, there have been some severe tornadoes in Kansas and Missouri, parts of southwestern Missouri. So there has been some extreme weather in the Midwest. Still, they're dealing with these heavy thunderstorms. There's a lot going on in the Midwestern U.S. Now, Montana getting some rainfall this morning, but nothing really severe. Glendive through Billings, there's this band of moisture and that's associated with that same low pressure system that's situated over the Dakotas. So that's the reason why we're getting some rainy weather in eastern Montana, but there's more coming for us in north central Montana for this afternoon. You'll notice all this moisture to our west in Washington and Idaho. That's going to be moving into our area in the next couple of hours. So although it might be dry at the moment, it's not going to necessarily stay that way for the entire day. Now this is that low pressure that's driving those storms in eastern Montana, kind of moving out. So by late tonight, we will get a quick break overnight tonight into Saturday morning break from the rainfall. So we are going to get some sunshine for a few hours for the holiday weekend, but there's this next low pressure system that will bring us our next round of weather. So Sunday into Monday, we have some more chances of rainfall. Sunday is going to be the rainiest day. And as that low sits over us, we will have just kind of cloudy conditions through the beginning of next week heading back to work. So checking out the rainfall for today, you'll notice that moving in from our west, that'll hit really this afternoon and evening. It'll be a little stronger west of the divide than east of the divide, but still can't rule out the chance of showers in Great Falls and Helena this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, it will dry up briefly. We will have a couple of hours of sunshine to kick off Saturday, but there's more coming. So that moisture that's coming our way for Sunday will begin kind of late Saturday and then pick up on Sunday as we we have the low approaching as well as a cold front from our north. So these two are kind of joining forces at the same time to bring us some kind of crummy weather for Sunday, unfortunately, but we will get some sunshine again. Finally, that will clear out by Monday afternoon, so we will get a break from it eventually. And of course, it'll clear up for Tuesday. Now today we will be in the 60s, so warming up a little bit from yesterday. Maybe uh, you might notice it's a little bit com more comfortable than yesterday. We've been on this warming trend throughout the week, approaching more average temperatures for this time of year. So it will be warmer, but we do have those afternoon showers coming our way. So it is going to be rainy right about the time it hits these afternoon highs. And then for the end of the week here or the weekend, I should say those chances of showers coming back. So Saturday morning and Monday afternoon look like your best chances to be outside for the weekend. Sunday, not the best, but if you're brave, I guess you can handle anything <laughs> for the holiday weekend here. Tuesday, of course, after the long weekend, we'll be clearing up. Still some clouds hanging around because we do have this upper level low pressure over the western United States, so that's going to keep us pretty cloudy for the next week or so, but the chances of rain will be out of here for Tuesday and we'll be warming up again, but Still some rain coming for the middle of next week. This is not done with us All yet. All sorts of stuff happening. There is. I yeah. think back to just a few months ago, it was so frigid cold that now at least these temperatures feel a little bit warm. I know. I'm complaining about 40s <laughs> in the morning, but a couple of months ago we were well below zero, so at least we're better than that. I will take those 60s and those showers. Yes. All right. Thanks, Katie. We'll check back with you in a moment.